Lord, you are holy indeed. You are the fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted, <clears throat> he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, he gave it to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. He gave the cup to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. <clears throat> Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread, the saving cup, we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love, together with Benedict our Pope, Thomas our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all those who have died into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with St. Joseph, the Apostles, and all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <coughs> Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us offer each other a sign of peace.
This is Jesus, our Lord and Savior, the Lamb of God, who takes away our sins and the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. For those of you at home, join with me now in this prayer about the meaning of life. God has created me to do him some definite service. He has committed some works to me which he has not committed to another. I have my mission. I am a link in a chain, a bond of connection between persons. He has not created me for nothing. I shall do good, I shall do his work. I shall be an angel of peace, a preacher of truth in my own place. Whatever, wherever I am, I can never be thrown away. If I am in sickness, my sickness will serve him. If I am in perplexity, my perplexity will serve him. If I am in sorrow, my sorrow will serve him. He does nothing in vain. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, may the mysteries we receive give us the spiritual courage which made your martyr Cecilia faithful in your service and victorious in her suffering and grant this to us in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. Just a brief announcement. This Saturday, the 24th of November, the Catholic Charismatic Renewal Center will sponsor the Christ the King Rally at the Canadian Christian College in Toronto. And for more information, please call 416-466-0767. The Lord be with you. And the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Our thanks to Bernice Beaulieu from Bradford, Ontario, whose generous contribution made the televising of today's Mass possible. If you're planning to attend the daily Mass at St. Basil's Church, it's important that you call our office at one 888 383 6277 for details.